There are a number of things that help you work faster and more efficiently in Glide, but not everyone knows about these. So we put them together into a short video with 10 tips on working with Glide. Depending on the size of your screen and if you're working in tablet mode or not, things might start to get a little squashed. And a lot of people don't know that you can resize the left and right hand panels. If you're looking at something with a lot of information on the right hand panel, you can actually collapse these separate panels here and work on only what you need to. Instead of clicking on the top bar with your mouse, you can use the key commands Alt or Option 1, 2 and 3 to switch between the different areas. When you're in a column dropdown in the layout area and you're looking at the different values that you can choose, you can click on this little button here and it will take you to that column in the data editor. Sometimes when you're browsing the data editor and looking at an app that you haven't worked on in a while, it's hard to remember what columns are for. If you click on the drop down of the column and click find all uses, you can see exactly where that column is being used, both in other computed columns and in components. And if you click on the button, it'll take you straight there. When you're in the data editor, you can type command F or control F, if you're on Windows, and you'll be able to search for the data that you're after. For example, if I type Alan, I'll see all the places or the cells where Alan exists. And if I press enter, I'll be able to go through those different places. I can also press shift enter to go back through those places. Sometimes though, you're not searching for a particular piece of data, but a column. And the data editor can get a little bit long if you've got lots of computed columns. In the top right, we have a different search function, which is find column. As you know, each column has this little drop down menu, which you can click to do various things, including edit. Now, if you want to quickly get to editing a column, you can just double click on the column's title. You've probably noticed these two buttons down in the bottom right of Glide, play mode and select mode. Clicking on these basically changes the way that you interact with your app. With select mode, you're clicking on components and the things within your app, and that's changing the way that you edit it. With play mode, you're just using the app just like a user would. But you can also use command or control, if you're on Windows, to toggle between these modes. So you see here, I'm in play mode, and if I hit command and hold command, I'm suddenly in select mode. Select mode also works with tabs. Most people tend to use them with components, but if I click on this tab here, we're gonna to go to that tab and also have the controls for that tab on the right. And finally, there's the right click contextual menu. If I right click on my app now, I'll see a number of different things that I can do and their keyboard shortcuts. A particularly useful one is the copy all function. If I copy all components now, I can go to a different screen and paste all of these exactly as I've set them up here. 